What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have this massive box right here. I know I call it massive, but geez, man, it's probably I mean, it's pretty solid size here. I don't have any figures right here to compare it to. Let me go ahead and grab a figure right quick. Here's the GM Eric Bischoff of MDT Live. You guys can see, I mean, it's solid. You see that? It's pretty solid. It's got some depth to it and everything like that. Um, you guys will notice that I have a little bit of a uh, little pump in my step, and the reason is because the MDT Royal Rumble is completely filmed. It is completely finished. I have finished it. I've completed it. I did it. I, I finally did it. It is completed, and I'm going to start editing it today, and I think I'm going to make the deadline by Saturday, guys. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to edit my butt off today, tomorrow, and that's the reason I gave myself two full days to edit, because you guys know that there's a lot of editing that goes into the process, and I'm very, very excited to get it up to you guys. It's going to be freaking, oh boy, it's going to be nice. Can't wait to see you guys react to it and talk about it. I need you guys to vote. I need you guys to tell me down in the comment section, should I premiere it? Should I do a premiere where you guys can live chat during the the Rumble and experience it together as an audience as if it were happening real time like a WWE pay-per-view or should I upload it just normally like at 5 a.m. 6 a.m. on a Saturday morning. I need to know down in the comment section below guys. I think it's I think it's I don't want to you know hurt the viewership so I, I don't know if premieres do worse than regular uploads. I'm not sure how that stuff works so I'm, I'm kind of worried because I don't want to premiere it and then it not reach the, the audience that I want it to reach. I want it to reach a pretty big audience, guys. I want it to, you know, we put a ton of work into it. We put a lot of man hours in and I want it to reach as big, you know, as many eyes as possible and I want people to get invested into what we're doing and, and, and buy into the storylines and, and read into it and watch our videos and stuff. So I don't know if I'm going to do a premiere or not, but just let me know down in the comment section below. I think it would be really cool to do a premiere and see everybody live chatting and stuff, but anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into this box. I'm sorry, got a little sidetracked there. I don't have the trusty knife for some reason, but I do have the, the trusty skizzers. So, uh, this package does come from my boy, New York Backyard Legend, my boy Omar, up there in New York. He's an absolute baller. And me and him did a little trade ski, and these scissors aren't working very well. But we did a little trade ski. You, can, you guys can see right there, it says My Damn Toys right here. And it's kind of funny because my brother has very simple Brad, you know, the guy, my commentary partner, his handwriting looks just like that. Kind of scary. The trusty knife says, yeah, Brad, that's why you use me all the time and you don't freaking invest in scissors. Come on, man. Give it a little cutsy. Look at that. He wrote Mr. 100K on the side. That's what I'm talking about. And then right here is where you guys can follow him on Instagram, NY Backyard Legend, absolute beast. He, he is an, he, he's an amazing dude up there in New York. I absolutely love him to death. Big follower of the channel and longtime fan of the channel. God almighty. Let's go ahead and pop her open. I don't even remember. I think he said he threw in some like uh, extra stuff because he doesn't have a crowd and stuff. I think he threw in some figures to make put some more depth in the MDT Universe crowd there. All right, so let's open her up and see what we got. Oh, my Lord Jesus. What do we got in here, Brad? Let's go ahead and just uh, take everything out one by one. So I do know he sent us some basic bodies. He said he was going to send us some basic bodies because, uh, like he said, he, he doesn't have a crowd. But he wanted me to add some depth to my crowd, so he sent some armless and headless bodies. So uh, not too much here, but I do appreciate him sending these over because I can absolutely get some, uh, you know, some usage out of them. I think that's a John Morrison right there. Will he win the Extreme Championship? We got a Finn Balor Battle Pack Basic. We have a Cody Rhodes Basic with no head. We got a Daniel Bryan Basic. Cian Almas Basic. Daniel Bryan Basic. Finn Balor Basic. I think another Finn Balor basic. Oh snap, that's the, uh, isn't that the 2K, or yeah, the 2K John Cena, isn't that what that is? I never got that figure. Another Daniel Bryan, another Seth Rollins. I say another, that's the first one, you stupid idiot. A uh, Daniel Bryan basic from SummerSlam 2013, I do believe. And what else is this? What is this? What, is this, is this Predator? Did this man send us a Predator figure? Oh my god, this is going straight on the fan mail shelf. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh my god. Bro, that is freaking wicked. I, I hate that I don't know more about this figure, but I do love the Predator. I think he just looks, he's one of the most badass looking characters, guys. Just look at his mask and his dreads. Like, I need to make a character looking like this for like a pick fed or so. I think he looks so fantastic. I love this, dude. This is freaking amazing. I used to own a couple of the NECA. Is this NECA? Yeah, this is the NECA Predator. I do not know which uh, series it is, but 
This looks fantastic, man. Oh my god, this is amazing. Thank you so much, brother. That's greatness. I'm putting that on the MDT fan mail shelf. I can't wait to add that up there. It's gonna look fantastic. Uh, he wrote us a note. Let's go ahead and read it aloud to the class. To MDT, funny story, but two years ago I was only buying MMPR figs and saving up for a ranger suit. There was nothing new from MMPR toys or Pixel Dan, so I looked up WWE figs on YouTube and came across Hero Figs and you in October 2017. It's when I slowly jumped back into WWE figures. I still have way too many Jax figures. I fully have you to blame for the now 94 customs I have made. I have taken forever to send this trade, but this is the only first of many that will happen, so better late than never. Thanks, bro, for all the motivation and a very big shout-out to you for hitting that 100k milestone into 100,000 more soon. I live I live through you, bro. Thanks again, your boy here in New York City, the original Balor guy, aka New York Backyard Legend. P.S. Make that hemp title, bro. What an absolute baller. Thank you so much, bro. Again, Omar, you're amazing. I'm going to put that in the MDT fan mail section. And um, he's actually making his own hemp title, and uh, it's going to look fantastic. I can't wait to see what it is. But oh my god, he sent me another freaking pop figure, and it is your boy Finn Balor. Look at that right there. I love this. Thank you so much, bro. I, my fans always say, I never get the pop figures, but fans send them in, and I love it. I love when you guys send me the pop figures, because I don't collect them myself. So I, I love that, man. Let's go ahead and unwrap it slowly. I appreciate you uh, keeping it mock and, you know, shipping it so nicely here. So this now makes my third WWE pop in my collection. You have the Finn Balor, you have the Randy Orton that my boy Rod sent me, and then we have the custom Randy Orton that my boy Rod sent me. So we have three total now, so thank you so much, bro. So we got the basic bodies, we got the Finn Balor pop, we got the epic Predator figure, and I think this is the rest of the trade right here. So the rest of the box is empty. Uh, let's go ahead and scoot everything back. I think, uh, let's go ahead and cut this hoe open. Oh, maybe we don't have to cut it. Maybe you just, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and cut it. It should just be a bunch of heads because we agreed to trade some head scans. So let's go ahead and take them out here. What do we got? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. All right, so we have one Top Talents head scan for Seth Rollins. We have two Top Talents head scan for Seth Rollins. We have three Top Talents head scans for Seth Rollins. And we have four Top Talents head scans for Seth Rollins. So we have four Top Talents heads for Seth Rollins. I am trading him. He doesn't like this head scan for some reason, guys. He doesn't like the head scan. I don't know why. Um, I absolutely love it, so I'm definitely going to keep that. The Predator comes with these nice spears. Love that. That is freaking sweet. I'm going to pose him with these up on that shelf like I was talking about. He also threw in a bunch of Chase Money in the Bank briefcases, and I love this because I needed a few more to complete my display. So now these are beautiful, man. God, I did not expect that. Thank you so much, bro. So we got Money in the Bank briefcases on deck. We got some jean legs that he knew that I needed, so we got some jean legs. Can't wait to get some use out of these. And then it looks like we have some decals at the bottom. It looks like they are Bullet Club decals, maybe AJ Styles or Carl, Carl Anderson or something. I'd have to look at the rest, but there is a Bullet Club one right there. And that is pretty much it. We have the ba we have all this stuff. I need to set everything up real quick, guys. But thank you so much to Omar and the Backyard Legend from New York for sending us this epic package. But yeah, guys, I'm going to set everything up and then we'll get into the end of the video. So here's everything that we got today from my boy Omar, guys. Please go give him a follow over on Instagram at NYBackyardLegend, absolute animal. He's also the original Balor guy here on YouTube. I'm sure he'll comment down below. I'm super excited for this Predator, man. It looks so great. I love it. It's fantastic. It, it looks so beautiful. Again, I used to collect those, and then I got out of the game, and so it's very nice to see one of the... I don't think mine was that size, though. I thought mine was smaller, but I could be wrong. I think this may be maybe an upper, upper scale. They may have uh, made a new series where they're bigger in scale, but I'm so glad that I inspired you, Omar. I think that uh, that is awesome. That absolutely helps me. That inspires me more to know that I inspire you guys out there that actually inspires me more to keep creating, to keep, you know, doing customs and making pick fed shows and all that stuff. That's why I appreciate you guys' feedback and um, reviewing things and leaving your comments and your, your support and everything. Write me letters, sending me fan mail, stuff like that is absolutely fantastic. And I love it so much, guys. And you guys mean the world to me. And I appreciate it every single one of you for all that you do for me and my channel. But a huge shout out to Omar again, guys. Go follow him on Instagram. Send him some love. Thank you so much for the Seth Rollins heads, bro. I will send out your head scans as soon as possible and I just appreciate you very much for sending this amazing package. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Again, comment down below what you think of the haul. Also, vote down below. Premiere it 
so you guys can see it live or upload it like a regular upload. I'm going to do some research on that, make sure that, you know, it's not, uh, it's not going to hurt the channel or anything to do a premiere and everything like that. But I'm going to get to editing. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.